Hello again, it's me. So it's good morning, it's good afternoon, it's good evening, it's good day, and maybe somewhere it's good night. But wherever you are, my friends, sending you and wishing you always all the best. This week it seems we're talking about work, career, professions, what's best for you, are you happy with what you're doing, and if not, what are you doing about it? Today we're going to talk about how to find the best work, career, profession for you. And how do you go about that? How do you add what is your natural talent, your natural gifts, and you have several that were given to you so that you can use them in your work, which will automatically, in time, take you to the success that you're looking for. So, sometimes when it comes down to the basics and doing the planning, many people just bypass that. They skip over that. But my friend, what you have to do really is write down, you've heard it before, you're hearing it again, because it works. It works because Joy Ruffin knows it works because it's been done by Joy. That is, list your talents. List your strengths. List what you're good at, what you think you're good at, what you know you're good at, and then ask your friends, your close friends and your distant friends, what they see in you that's special, that has that extra uniqueness about it, that relates and pertains to you and you only. Make a list, write them down. Include the things that you like, what you like to read, the things that you like to do, the fun activities like, that you like to participate in. Get it all down, write it down, and then if you're not able to do it, what you really ought to be about doing is finding someone who will support you in narrowing it down to what really fits you. Now adjacent and right next to that list should be what you just cannot tolerate, what you don't like doing, what gives you no satisfaction, brings you no joy. Write that down too. Because in point of fact, no matter how much you love something and how much your natural gifts and talents are geared to something specific, there will be aspects of it that you might not enjoy as much. Might not give you the same type of satisfaction that you get when you're really doing the things that you love. You need to list them both. Because once you do this, you have the beginning the opening to what's meant for you and what you're here to do. And that, my friend, will lead you to the success that you're looking for, that you're seeking. Sounds a little basic, sounds a little simplistic, but bear in mind, everything really is. So start, begin, do it on your own, and then pull in your closest friend and the person that you're not that close to in your work environment, in your family. Make it type of not too close family because sometimes they're a little jaded. They won't really tell you what you need to hear. And that's why we have coaches. That's why we have counselors. That's why we have messengers and guides. And we all need them at different stages in our life because they will tell you what you really need to hear. As always, food for thought. It's good to be back with you. I hope this left something with you that you can engage in and with and take away something that you learned today that will benefit you on your path to success. Until the next time, be well. Take care of you first and then look after each other. Until we meet again, bye-bye for now. Cheers.